Yes, this haunting melody comes from the pen of Alexandre Desplat. Je suis français et que je vis en France, euh, que je paye mes impôts en France. Un détail. And it's from the Twilight Saga. And yes, if you are a fan of vampire movies, regardless of what generation you're from, the 80s, the 90s, which is my generation, or the 2000s, vampire movies have always interested us. Maybe because we're mortal. So without further ado, let's get right into this lesson of how to play The Meadow, the theme from Twilight New Moon. You begin playing in the first position. The eighth note right before the eighth measure gives you a four on the D and then you'll be here in the half position. It is essential to play that in tune. And then you go back into the first position for measure 11 and 12. 13, you're in first position. You start it. But in the eighth note, right before 14, shifting back to the half position for that G sharp, B natural, E, F natural, E. And then when you come out of that, shifting up to the whole note, F natural. Measure 13. Half position is the closest position your hand will ever play to your face. Measure 32 is in the lower third position, then shifting to the fourth position. Continuing, Measure 35 is in the 4th position. Shifting back, 1 on the D, extended out in the lower 3rd position. In order to make that possible from 37 to 38, you have to keep your hand extended. You have to bar one across the D and the G. Shifting back up to fourth position for the A, B, G, F natural. And the continuing in fourth position for the recapitulation of the theme. Shifting here, upper third position. Ending here in the upper third position. The third beat of measure 50 brings us to the fifth position. You start in fourth, shift up, three on the A, two, one. It's a big spread. We have whole steps in between the notes. And then we go to D, shifting over for the D, C natural, B natural. That is the fifth position right here we end in. If you're unfamiliar with it, there's a card in the top right of your screen. I suggest you take a look at that video and then come right back here to learn some more. The third beat of 88 brings us to the seventh position. It is the harmonic A, B natural, C natural we have written in the treble clef. You want to have a nice, strong understanding of the seventh position. And if you're unfamiliar with the seventh position, you can certainly take a look at the video in the top right of your screen and then return to this video when you are ready. My counsel is when you shift up, B 
bring your thumb into a position that you are most for comfortable with. I like to put the thumb on the G. It's very natural for me. But you can certainly put it here on the back if you have long enough fingers. So whatever works for you is what's consistent and in tune. The reason I bring the thumb up is because I want to do vibrato. Continuing on the next phrase. And that I use the harmonic just for a different sound. 96, third beat, we are here starting in the seventh position. So 96, it starts on the D string, on the E, so you find your harmonic, that would be the harmonic, D. Find your E, it's a second finger, and stay in position, drop your three when you go across, just drop it right there on the C natural, and then take your fingers into the same position, so you will, like, you will be like this, and then you can do that. Fourth position and then the rest of the song ends in first. I want to thank you for watching my video today on how to play Twilight's New Moon theme, The Meadow. If you want to learn more, please consider subscribing because I do this every single week, sharing with you popular songs and lessons on how to play them. Also, if you learned something today, please leave a like. And lastly, please share this with somebody who really enjoys the music from The Twilight Saga. Thank you again for watching my video. Of course, here are videos that might interest you in your journey with cello. And as always, I hope you do stick around because we're all going to learn a lot.